Hey, I'm Mark Hollenbeck from uh, Sunrise Ranch here at Edgemont, South Dakota. We bought this ranch in 2004. I had two partners in it. I bought them out over the last few years. So we moved out here in I think 2006 or 2007. Uh, we have four kids. Uh, they are currently ages uh, 14, 15, 17, and 18. And our youngest daughter is going off to college this year. We built the lodge uh, the first year we had the place and started doing some tourism and hunting business. And then uh, I got more into range management. And uh, so we started to uh, try to develop and improve uh, the land resource as well. And so we've been working on that ever since. I went through the ranching for profit school a couple times, went to the grazing school for the grasslands and along with some other grazing schools. Uh, so we've been uh, developing our water and developing our fences uh, for the better part of 10 years now. And uh, for a while I was raising organic grass-fed beef and we still basically raise organic grass-fed, but we're not in the marketing business like we were. We were doing retail and uh, we've gotten out of that and uh, focusing more on uh, proper grazing, proper management, and as well as our hunting business. Uh, so we currently have a uh, rather uh, large hunting business that we run in the fall. Uh, we hunt mule deer and elk on the ranch. So the organic certification was not terribly difficult for me because I didn't use a lot of chemical on the land to start with. Uh, all of our grass that we have here, all of our ranch, uh, is native. Uh, very little of it was ever plowed under, and anything that was plowed under was probably plowed under 80 years ago. And so ours are very native grasslands, and so we've been working to improve that. Part of the reason we have grass is that we have been actively managing for grass, and I've been actively managing to convert my grasslands into a higher percentage of warm season grasses. When we were out in the canyons uh, looking at that area, uh, you could see big blue stem coming in. And uh, 10 years ago, there wasn't any out there. That pasture uh, in the canyons was continuously grazed for decades and virtually eliminated the big blue stems the prairie clovers. Uh, this year I found yellow prairie clover. First time I'd ever seen it. Uh, we're finding lead plant out there now. So all these plants that are really nutritious were grazed out. And by managing, we're getting those plants to come back. We have uh, fenced about nine miles of canyons in our roughest country uh, into a, a hunting preserve. And so uh, we'll stock it with elk, mule deer, and whitetail. We have about three miles of the Cheyenne River bottom on another part of the ranch. And uh, when we bought that, it had been continuously grazed by sheep and horses. And so it was uh, extremely short grass, uh, all buffalo grass and blue gamma, almost exclusively. Uh, so since that time, we have put in uh, two stretches of electric fence that uh, cut the ranch in half, twice, north to south. So then we can cross fence that with uh, temporary poly wire. Then there's still some barbed wire fences that cross that as well. And so we've subdivided that into a lot of different pastures. So our main deal is we're giving it rest. If you don't get litter on the ground, uh, it's really, really hard to grow grass. And it is really hard to get litter if you can't grow grass. And so it's a vicious cycle of trying to get something on that ground so it'll protect the soil, so you can grow grass, so you can lay more down to protect the soil. We have a weather station on another part of the ranch, and I think we get about 13 inches of rain and over 30 inches of evaporative effect. And so uh, we could evaporate 30 inches of water out here in the summertime. And so we have to get that rain into the ground where plants can use it. That means shading the ground and having organic matter in the ground.
just like mulching your garden. I, I mean, you gotta have the, if you have that on there, you're just gonna preserve that moisture for grass growth rather than let it evaporate. I still am amazed at the uh, things we're discovering and unfortunately rediscovering several times. I tell my kids this is a giant science experiment. A good friend of mine says, if you won't do it for all the right reasons, do it for the money. If you manage your soil correctly, you're gonna grow grass. And if you grow grass, anything can convert it uh, into dollars. It gives me a good feeling to know that uh, the management practices we're doing are having an impact.